No rest for this man. Matteo Bonetti well, returns. We told you we weren't going to let you No, no, no. There is a rest. <laughs> he doesn't get an invite to the Serie Awesome podcast. <laughs> there is a rest. <laughs> 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 yes. There is a rest. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a reason, a very good reason we brought you back. Gab is in on this as well. Uh, we've been doing lots of Premier League teams of the decade. We didn't want to move out, uh, leave you out on the Serie A teams of the decade. Gab... Uh, Best players who've graced Serie A in, in this past 10 years, what would you go for? Well, look, <clears throat> I look for uh, longevity on this one as well. So, you know, you've had people come in and were outstanding for a year or two, like, say, Cristiano Ronaldo, who hasn't been there that long. But in the end, I had to go for, for Andrea Pirlo. Um, I think in some ways he's, uh, he's pretty much emblematic of, of this decade in Serie A. Mm. It's a pretty good starting eleven. It is. He's going with a back four. I went without any fullbacks just to make it a bit more fun. Oh, throw in okay. the extra <laughs> line, man. But we had the same exact what? front line, actually. And I, I like the inclusion of Di Natale. The fact that he stayed at Udinese, that he had four seasons with over 23 goals. That is, uh, those are ludicrous numbers. Here are the slight differences, though. I included yeah. Panucci. Well, Di a three. win back is a, is a difference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's more of a 3-3-4 three, three, if you want to get technical. Yeah. A lot of calm shake. You've got to put him in there. The all-time Napoli leading goal scorer. He eclipsed uh, Maradona. Donna, who knows if that's going to be broken by Dries Mertens, but at this moment, it is not. The front three, I think, is hard to argue, though, with all the things Icardi did at Inter, nearly getting to 30 goals. Same with Gonzalo Higuain, set the single-season Serie A record, 36 goals. Keep in mind that since 1959, only two players have scored more than 30 goals in Serie A. I, th these are ridiculous numbers. And to me, Chiellini, the player of the decade, he really embodied the, 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 the dominance of Juventus, mm -hmm. the, the centerpiece of the back line. The, the, our generation, the new generation, the best Italian defender of the moment, of the mm. last 10 years. Mm. A consensus when it came to the front line, same front three between these two gents. Okay. With Dybala like kind yeah, of... Yeah, it was the front there. four. It's like, uh, yes, <laughs> the, the three, four, whatever he was playing. Look, <laughs> I... And, and this is more so than an issue with mm. whatever they've selected, is the idea that when you consider Serie A and the achievements in Europe... In the last 10 years, we go back to Inter as the one team that was able to break through and win Champions League. And yet there is no representative from that Inter team in either of these two teams. And, well, one may say, well, a lot of these players kind of straddle last mm. decade and this decade. But it's difficult to put together a team that doesn't include your right. Champions League winner and that... If you were going to include a player from that team, hold on, Gav, hold on. You, you, you made your case. I'm, 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 just, I'm just raising an issue that I have with the teams. That's right. all. Maybe a guy like Javier Sanetti right, deserves so, a place. Mm -hmm. Maybe a guy like that that was emblematic for that team <laughs> and, at, and, and not only emblematic for that team, but emblematic for the success of that group in 2010, which was indeed the last time that we saw a Serie A team winning Champions League. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's all. Go on, Gab. Uh, 2010 was last decade as far as I'm concerned. Oh. Uh -oh. And, oh. You know what? Oh. Javier Sanetti. You know what? Listen, look. If you want to go, I mean, he played on for, for several years after that. In fact, one of the, one of the things he's going to... One of the reasons Inter fans remember him so far, fondly is that, you know, he didn't hightail it out of there once it was obvious the rot had set in. He stuck around painfully. He's still around there. He's been around through all the bad times. If you want to put Javier Sanetti in, you're going to play a whole bunch of positions. If you want to do him, put him in a, a, a left back for, for Lulic, who, you know, you could argue whether he's really a left back or whatever. Listen, I'm totally on board for that. And by the way, there is an Inter player in there. And in some ways, he represents Inter's decade in his own way, because, of course, that's Mauro Icardi, who spent, mm. what, four and a half years, five years at Inter, whatever it was. Scored a ton of goals and they achieved nothing with him in there. If 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 Gab, which is if, also emblematic. Gab, if you would listen to me instead of of saying all the things that you're saying and just listen to the idea that I said very clearly that there was no player from Inter from that team that won, <laughs> from that team, from that 2010 team. He clearly wasn't in that 2010 team. Because it was That's in a different decade. Okay, now... Nah, that was this decade. <laughs> that it. was this decade, uh, Gab. It's the 2010s, isn't it? Is Let, that what yeah, the it's called? 2010 counts. Listen, <laughs> we, we all know it's impossible to please Alejandro. Yeah. We all uh, know it's, well, it's, very, it's very easy to please me. Just <laughs> give me some bouffon and I'm good. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.